it's Kate with Local Motors. Today's LM Labs project is a vacuum table. Giovanni is going to give me some more information about it. So Giovanni, let's start with what is a vacuum table? Well, a vacuum table or, or a vacuum thermoforming table is just another method or tool to create parts. So for rapid prototyping or if you wanted to work, focus on economies of scale, um, making it easier to make more of the same thing. For example, here is a, uh, a thermoform part for a remote control car body. So what happens is you would develop like an original part here. So here's a, a 3D printed rally fighter. You place mm -hmm. it on the table surface. The vacuum sucks out all the air and whatever's on top of this, this body would get sucked down taking out all the air to where you get one of these. So rather than paying for a good table that's already out there and before we actually know what we're really going to use it on, I mean, this is still in the experimental phase, uh, we wanted to see if we could build it ourselves. So the files are available. We have the tools to build a vacuum table. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, this was formed uh, using MDF, uh, relatively affordable at uh, like any hardware store, uh, and it was cut in minutes. So this is just another way to see what, what we can uh, do to, to focus on rally fighter production and possible other vehicle production. For example, the dash, the dash we would like to explore uh, thermoforming plastic parts on that rather than the standard fiberglass model, mainly because we want to do cooler shapes and things like that. So did they answer okay. your question? Yeah, no, that's great. Now, one more question. LM Labs is planning to actually use this vacuum table for parts, like you mm -hmm. said, like the Rally Fighter, anything else? Uh, well, the Open Tandem car, for example, we're for currently uh, working on a dashboard for the Open Tandem project. Uh, so there, there's a perfect example of where this can come in handy. Uh, rather than waiting for somebody to develop the mold, the fiberglass mold, and then waiting on the fiberglass, shaping the fiberglass, you can get it done uh, quickly, uh, relatively quickly, uh, and then duplicate that rather than waiting again uh, to sand it down in all the prep time. You do this one time. Right. Uh, just like a fiberglass one, but it's going to be portable down the road. Um, and you can use plastic, whereas otherwise you use fiberglass. Great. So. Great. Well, thank you so much for the information. Giovanni, always innovating here at Local Motors. You can follow LM Labs by subscribing to the Local Motors YouTube channel by clicking on the conversation bubble, or if you're on a mobile device, just scroll to the comment section and click on the subscribe now link. If you're watching this video on Facebook, share it with your friends and don't forget to like it.